Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty here with what should be the final chapter of Locker of Death. We're really hurting for gems, so who knows how this is going to go. I'd like to do all the endings in one go, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Or if I'll even end up doing that. Just because... Like, I still don't know how endings are going to work for this game. The moment the paper enters the locker, Kana freezes. You... You're trying to trick me. What? Which of you did it? Who dared write my name on that paper? Her fury is palpable, the ways of dark energy almost enough to knock me off my feet. It wasn't one of us, it was your sister, Karina. Liar, you're lying. Putting her name in the locker didn't end the curse on its own, but is this it? Does she need to understand what Karina wants? I swear it's true, your sister's spirit gave me that piece of paper and it's her handwriting. She wrote your name on it so it could be put into the locker. No. If she did, it was only to destroy me. She wants to trick me into thinking she loves me, but it's not true. No one loves me. No one ever loved me. You're wrong, Kare Kana. Liar. My own mother killed me. She always loved Karina more. Karina was the only one of us she cared about. She... she... What happened to you was terrible, but Karina always wanted you to find peace. No, Karina doesn't care about me. How could she? I was awful to her. I mean, I'm, I'm torn on how to feel, because on one hand, what Kana did to her sister out of nothing more than jealousy was so horrible. Like, like if Karina had been mean to her first, I could maybe understand it, but she wasn't. And like, Kana caused her death. But at the same time, like I said, it hits close to home, having her own mother murder her. Like, that's just terrible. I took out all my, my pain and rage on her and made her life miserable. Of course she doesn't love me. What should I say? Karina forgave you, she wants you to rest. You can atone now. Karina wants you to stop. I'll say Karina forgave you. Karina forgave you. She wants you to rest. She forgave me? Yes. I don't know for sure that she has, but I feel it deep inside. That's the real reason Karina picked this method to help us fight back against her sister. I'm sure she understands now how you felt. That would be just like her. Don't you want to move on and see your sister again? She found peace at last, and you can too. <laughs> What's going to happen with the mother? Like, where's the mother at right now? Because that's going to be an awkward reunion. She did write my name on that paper. I can sense it now. You're telling the truth about everything. For the first time since this nightmare began, Kana's ghost doesn't seem threatening. The air is still cold around us, but now she just looks like a sad girl who died far too soon. Karina. Ah. What is it? I sense Karina. She's trying to reach out to us. Let her possess you. The air shimmers behind Rui, and a familiar figure appears in the air. She holds out her hand to the other ghost. Oh, her dress is slightly different. It's time, Kana. Won't you please come back with me? Karina, are you sure? Yes, no matter what happened, I always loved you, Kana. Karina, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. She reaches out, and the two ghosts join hands. As they begin to fade away, Kana looks back at us one last time. Goodbye. I wish I could make up for what I did. No one else will die by my hands. That's all I can do now. I'm sorry. The two spirits fade away together and warmth returns to the hallway. Is it over? Yes, at least I think so. Look, it's gone. We follow her gaze to the locker of death, or rather the spot where it once stood. Why are there railings in the hallway? The section of that hall is, of the hall is bare now and empty, with no sign of, that a locker was ever there at all. The curse is broken. It's finally over. For a moment, none of us says a word, and then we begin cheering and laughing. I can't believe it. We really did it this time. Finally, after all this time. Now we can celebrate for real. I'm so glad we don't have to worry about the curse anymore. Me too, and now that the curse isn't hanging over us, it's time I finally address the other issue that all of this brought to light. Now that it's over, there's something I need to say. They all turn to me with expectant gazes and I take a deep breath. How do I really feel? Nadoka, I'm in love with you. Mana, I'm in love with you. Rui, I'm in love with you. I hope we'll all be friends forever. <laughs> Unless there's no gems. Oh, I'm going to be a little salty if I got up these, these gems. And it's for nothing. But I'm going with Rui. Rui, I'm in love with you. Are you sure? I should have known she'd respond like that, asking so calmly and steadily, even though I'm sure she must have some more emotion hidden under the surface. I'm sure. She steps closer and reaches out, and I take her hands in mine and draw her toward me. I feel the same way about you. I'd hoped you would return my feelings, but I didn't dare to believe it would actually happen. Now that we've both said it, will you go out with me? Nothing would make me happier. 
Well, I guess that's that. Yeah. I'm rather wishing there was another locker of death right about now. Hey, Rui! Huh? You better not put Shorty in any danger, you hear? Don't get him mixed up with any other evil spirits or curses. I don't think either of you have any room to talk. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of doing anything to endanger Shorty. But if you ever end up in danger, I'll be there to protect you. I know, and I'm glad for that. However, I hope we'll have peace for quite some time to come. The next day, Rui and I meet up at the train station. Thank you for agreeing to go with me, Shorty. Don't mention it. I haven't been back home since the incident. It might be difficult. Yeah. But I need to face Nanami. I know she's not really there anymore, and that she surely must know what we've done, but I need to pay my respects to her nevertheless. Can't you do another seance? Yeah, I understand. I'll be right there with you. Once things settled down a little, Rui asked if I'd go with her to visit the grave of her friend who died because of the curse. I know this isn't quite a romantic date. I oh, don't worry about that. We'll have plenty of time for dates later. Right now, this is important to you, and I want to be by your side. Thank you. Nevertheless, she still seems hesitant. What's wrong? I keep thinking I should do this alone instead of taking you with me. Is that what you want? No. Then don't worry about it. But if we weren't dating, you wouldn't even consider going with me for this, would you? A relationship is the only reason you're involved. It's not true. I see, she thinks I'm going with her out of a sense of duty. What should I say? I want to support you or I want to pay my respects to you. I want to support you. I want to support you. You don't have to. That's not the point. This feels like the sort of thing we need to clear up early on in our relationship. If I was going through a rough time, wouldn't you want to help me, even if it didn't involve you in any way? Yes, of course. That's how I feel now. It's not that I feel obligated to go with you, but I want to do it because I care about you. I see. So don't worry about it, okay? I want to be there for you. I understand, I think. <laughs> it seems there are still some things I need to learn about being in a relationship. Are you ready, then? Yes, let's go. We spend only a short time in town before we head to the graveyard. It's quiet and still without anyone else there. Rui leads me to her friend's grave and kneels in front of it. Hey there, Nanami. I hope you've been able to find peace. She brought flowers with her for the grave and now sets them down gently before bowing her head. Nanami, I hope you know how much Rui cares about you. I'm sorry we didn't break the curse in time to save you, but maybe this will help you rest. Once Rui finishes her silent prayer, she gets to her feet, but she continues to stand in front of the grave. It's really all over now. The curse is broken. Khan and the locker of death won't hurt anyone else ever again. It was difficult, but we made it to the end. Yes, we made it. She squeezes her eyes shut and tears run down her cheeks. I put my arm around her, then hold her close when she turns to me to press her face against my chest. Give us a CG. I'm sorry. Shh, it's okay. I'm not sure if she's apologizing to me for crying or to Nanami for not being able to save her, but either way, I'll do whatever I can do to comfort her. Thanks. She sniffs and wipes her eyes. Thank you for coming with me, Shorty. I'm not sure I could have handled this alone. I can almost picture her standing here by herself, crying with no one to reassure her. I tighten my arms around her. Don't mention it. If you want to visit the graves of your classmates, let me know and I'll come with you if you like. Okay. Oh, well, there's a lot more of those. I wasn't particularly close to any of Kana's victims at our school, but I should probably pay my respects. We stand there together for a long time before we finally leave the graveyard. Thanks again for today, Shorty. We'll go on a real date soon, I promise. <laughs> Don't worry, I've already been thinking of some ideas. Oh, in that case, maybe I should simply leave it up to you. Really? Hmm, you got any plans for the rest of the day? Oh, I don't think I have the energy to go out anywhere else today. I was planning to just go home and relax. What should I say? So just going together and make plans for another day. I'll make plans for another day. Maybe tomorrow, then? Yes, that should be fine. Okay, I'll think of some possible things we could do, and then you can let me know what you like the best. Because, I mean, she just got through with this whole stuff with her friends, so... Very well. I'll try to think of some ideas, too. See you tomorrow, Shorty. See you. She turns and starts to walk away, and then abruptly doubles back. I forgot. What sort of girlfriend am I? She darts forward and kisses me, and then backs up again. Next time, I'll remember. Hey, don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll figure this thing out together, okay? In the short time since we've been together, I've gotten the impression that as calm as she is when it comes to ghosts, she has some insecurities about relationships. Hey. Thanks, Shorty. Kind of sad the mother didn't end up playing a bigger role. When I met Rui that day at school, I never thought we'd end up together. All I wanted to do was find out what she knew, and do whatever it took to break the curse. Instead, she ended up becoming not only a valuable ally, but much more than that. She isn't like anyone else I've ever met, and I'm sure a future together will involve many more spirits and seances before very long. It sounds like there should be a sequel. That's part of Rui's life, and that means I've accepted it now as part of mine. No matter what happens, the two of us will continue pressing on together.
ghosts are blinking. This is a cute picture. I don't know if I should do the other endings, because apparently you're not going to need gems for them. But we're not going to have enough tickets to do all of them at once. But not a terrible game. I do wish there'd been a little more focus on the ghost's backstory. The mother gets kind of tragically overlooked. And the stalker was a bit random. But yeah, so I'm going to pause the recording and restart the episode. So we're back to this part, and we're going to go with Mana next. Because I guess I would say she's my next favorite, sort of. I'm still not thrilled with either of them putting my name in the locker. Mana, I'm in love with you. You love me? Yes. If you still feel the same way about me, I'd like to go out with you. Hi. Hi. She glances over at the empty spot where the locker used to be. Don't worry. This isn't some lingering side effect of the curse. I've thought about it for a long time, and I know how I feel. Oh, shorty. And to my great surprise and dismay, she starts crying. H hey, Mana? Mana? If you don't feel that way about me anymore, I understand. It's okay. N no, that's not it at all. I'm just so happy. She throws her arms around me and sobs against my shoulder. I pat her back awkwardly, a little concerned by this reaction despite her words. I never thought she'd react like this. She's normally much more composed. Then again, this whole ordeal has been a bit, a bit of a strain on her. It's like putting my name in the locker changed her. And she's never really been able to let go of that, even now. You know, we, should pro we probably shouldn't hang around here. Agree, let's leave the school, and then you and I can give these two their privacy. By the time we get outside and Nadoka and Rui leave us alone, Mana has started to calm down. Are you okay now? Yes, I'm really sorry about that. You don't have to apologize. That's probably not how you expected me to respond to your declaration of love. No, it definitely wasn't, and it didn't seem like you were crying out of happiness either. Are you sure you haven't changed your mind? I'm positive. She wipes her eyes and gives me a dazzling smile, hope shining in her eyes. Everything just overwhelmed me when you said that. I really didn't think the day would ever come when you'd say those words to me. You didn't? Even after all we've been through together? Deep inside, I was afraid you hated me. How could I possibly hate you? For putting your name in the locker of death? For relying on you so much whenever I'm feeling weak? For falling in love with you and changing things between us? Okay, that last one I didn't expect at all. Why would I hate you for falling in love with me? Because a confession like that changes things no matter how much you want them to stay the same. A friendship could never return to what it once was after you learned the truth. Hmm. If you didn't feel the same way about me, don't you think it would hang over us forever? What should I say? No, we'd still be friends. It doesn't matter since I love it. I said no, we'd still be friends. I'm more angry about you putting my name in the locker. <laughs> no, we'd still be friends. Do you really think so? Yes, I do. This is important for us to get through. I need to make my feelings clear. A friendship was always precious to me, Mana. I wouldn't let something like this stand in the way of that no matter what. It wouldn't make you uncomfortable? Maybe things would feel a little awkward at first, but we'd overcome it. I know we would. Thank you, Shorty. That makes me feel a lot better. So now that it's all over... Yes? I step closer and kiss her softly on the lips, and then step back with a smile. Where should we go for our first date? Because I think some of the other ones have actual endings and not just, let's hang out with this girl. A few weeks later, once everything has really settled down, Mon and I head back to Karina's village together. Maybe this is not a choice for a date, considering everything that happened to us, but it's a beautiful spot and I know Mana wanted to see it again. Ah, it's good to be back under pleasant circumstances. Yeah, nothing to worry about this time. Instead of rushing and searching for information, we're free to walk slowly through the village and take in the sights. After a moment, Mana loops her arm through mine. It feels nice to walk together like this. I'm glad we were able to find the time to take this trip. Yes, I only wish we could stay longer. Maybe next time. You mean you'll bring me back here again? Promise? Yep, here and anywhere else you want to go. Oh, shorty. She rests her head against my shoulder and lets out a sigh. At least we don't have school tomorrow. We'll be able to stay- No, that's her. At least we don't have school tomorrow. We'll be able to stay as long as we want without worrying about being late. Yeah, it's nice. Leading up to this trip, Mana made sure to schedule it around a holiday. She planned out every detail, apparently not wanting to leave anything to chance. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Now that things are getting back to normal, Mana has been much calmer, able to take charge again like she used to. I'm so happy. There was a time when I thought I'd never feel this way again. I'm so glad you and I met, Shorty. Me too. Oh, look at the little crafts in that store window. Aren't they cute? Do you want to take a closer look? I'd like to see them. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> don't worry about it. We're here to enjoy ourselves, after all. Then maybe I'll just pick out one thing for myself. This game could really use some CGs. We spend the rest of the day shopping and admiring the scenery. The last thing we do is visit Karina's grave, where we pay our respects to her and Kana. 
Kana doesn't get a grave. At last, the sun is beginning to set over the quiet village. It's getting late. The train will be leaving soon. Yeah, we need to leave now if we're going to make it in time. Oh, I wish we didn't have to go. What should we do? Move in! So just staying at the end, go to the train station. I thought we were staying at the end anyway, so I'll say that. It's worth a shot. I mean, if you really don't want to leave, we don't have to. Tomorrow's a holiday, after all. Huh? We can make arrangements at the end. Spend the night here and then catch a different train back tomorrow. That's a wonderful idea. Let's do it. Soon everything was all set. My parents weren't too thrilled that I was spending the night away from home with just Mana, but I managed to smooth everything over. Thank you for suggesting this, Shorty. She sits down alongside me and I put my arm around her as she snuggles close. I'm so happy we don't have to leave just yet. It's almost like we're having a mini vacation. Did your parents understand? Oh yes, they told me to have a good time and enjoy the culture. Huh, I guess you never know. I was able to get us tickets on tomorrow's afternoon train, so we'll be able to do some more sightseeing tomorrow morning. Great. There's so much to see here, but you know what the best part is? What's that? Is it me? You and I have some time alone at last. Uh, I was wondering if you'd mention that. Since, we're having, since we have privacy here, let me show you more clearly how happy I am. She lifts her head toward mine, and although she looks a little hesitant at first, she pulls me down into a kiss. It starts out light, but then her lips part and she kisses me passionately. Oh, this game isn't rated for this. Despite my surprise, I return it in kind. By the time we both pull apart, we're out of breath. You must really like it here. I just really like you. I love you, Shorty. Oh, I love you too. This has been an amazing date, Shorty, but it's more than that. All the time since we started dating has made me feel like I'm the luckiest girl in the world. In that case, I must be the luckiest guy. Sometimes it frightens me. What? Why? When I feel this happy, it makes me worry that it can't last. Like everything is on a timer, ticking down the seconds until it all falls to pieces. Where does this pessimism come from? Is it because of her accident? Is she afraid she'll lose everything again? I turn so I can look directly into Mana's eyes and put her hands on my shoulder, on her shoulders. It won't be like that, Mana, I promise. How can you be so sure? Because I won't let it happen. See, this is more along the lines of a CG. I reach up and gently touch her chin to tilt her face toward mine again. We broke the curse. We stopped Kana. We'll overcome anything that gets in our way as long as we have each other. I... I believe you. When we're together, I believe you. Let's stay together as much as possible. And whenever you start to have these fears, I'll be there for you, just like I always have been in the past. I won't let you face this on your own. I wouldn't have it any other way. As she smiles again at last, I draw her close for another kiss. Tragedy brought Mana and I together all those years ago, and tragedy brought her feelings for me into the light. If not for the curse, I might not have realized my love for her, either. Maybe it's no surprise she was so nervous about how I'd react. But things will be different from here on out. We recognize our love for each other, and that means we can work toward a brighter future, one filled with joy, not tragedy. No matter what happens, I know Mana and I can overcome any obstacle, as long as we have each other. I may have to merge two parts together. Because this is already 15 parts and I don't want to make it any longer. So next we're going to try Nidoka. Nidoka, I'm in love with you. What? You mean it? I do. I step closer to her and look into her eyes. My feelings for her threaten to overpower me. I can't believe I was blind to them for so long. I don't know why I'm not super into Nadoka. Visually, I like her look the most. I always knew you were a good friend, but now I see that you're so much more than that. Will you go out with me, Nadoka? Of course I will. <laughs> she pumps her fist into the air. Victory! Now I really want to celebrate. Laughing, she lunges forward and all but tackles me into a hug. Whoa! I hug her back, and after a few valiant efforts on her part to spin me around, I take over and twirl with her instead. Um, do you think you could tone down your celebration a little bit for those of us witnessing this? Let them have this, Mana. We could all use some... We all could use with some good feelings right about now. That, that was... There, there's something missing in there somewhere. It took me so long to understand how I really feel... How I really felt about Nadoka, but I'm glad I finally did. From this day forward, we're going to make the most of every day we have together. Three days later, Nadoka and I walked down the street together on our way to the local grocery store. I don't get it. I thought you already got all the supplies you needed for the party. I did. Don't worry. It's all set for tomorrow like we planned. Then why are we going back to the store now? After we spent the past few days planning our party and celebrating a little bit privately, she suddenly called me up today with a request to head to the store together. Okay, so here's the thing. When I was buying supplies, I overheard people talking. Apparently there's a secret room in the grocery store that no one knew about. 
That's exactly how we got into this mess. Uh-huh. They were doing some remodeling, and when they tore down the paneling in the back storage room, they found a door. I don't like where this is going. Everyone's talking about it, but no one's actually gone inside yet. So I figure if we're stealthy enough, we can be the first people to find out the truth about the grocery store secret room. So make sure you all check out the sequel to this, Back Room of Death. Nope, nope, nope. I've had enough of that sort of thing to last me a lifetime. What should I say? Doesn't this seem a little too familiar? I bet the secret room is haunted. I'm saying the first one. Doesn't this seem a little too familiar? What do you mean? This is how we got mixed up with the locker of death. It's nothing like that at all. This was a lock. That was just a locker. This is just a secret room. Nadoka. You think it's a bad idea, huh? I think we should take a break before we investigate anything else like that. Oh, fine. I'll do it for you, shorty. You dodge that one. She said she's going to do it herself. Who's in trouble she's going to get into alone? Well, there go my plans for the afternoon. Oh, I guess she's saying she'll do it for us and she won't go for our sake. I'm not sure I believe her, though. I'm sure we'll think of something better to do. You still want to hang out today, then? Of course. <laughs> Good. She wraps one arm around me as we continue to walk down the street together. I need some time to have you all to myself before the party tomorrow. Even then, you'll still have me all to yourself. You might have to share my time with the others, but no one will ever take your place in my heart. Ah, that's so sweet. She stops walking and leans in to kiss me. I kiss her back and then draw her close for a second, longer kiss. Heedless of the people who pass us on the street. There's one thing I can say about Nadoka, is that she certainly isn't shy. The first time she went for a kiss out in the open, I was surprised, but now I'm getting used to it. Heh <laughs> that makes up for not getting to investigate the secret room. Glad I proved to, to be a welcome distraction. You know, there were times when I thought we'd never... Thought we'd end up together... I never thought we'd end up together like this. I didn't think you saw me that way. I didn't realize it for a long time, I'm sorry. Nah, don't apologize about it. There are other ways you can make it up to me, you know. Oh, I will. She giggles and we start walking again, hand in hand. When I think about how much our lives have changed, I want to shout for joy. We're still spending time together like we always did, but so much is different now. I wish we could undo the tragedy the locker of death brought, but at least the curse also helped me realize my feelings for Nadoka. Maybe there's a little good in everything that happens. Any ideas about what we should do today? I'm fine just walking together like this. Aw, you mean just being with me is enough? Yeah, plus it feels good to not have anything urgent to worry about, you know? No race against time, no urgent matter to investigate. Good point. I never thought I'd say this, but it feels kind of good to be bored. <laughs> I know. From now on, I'll rely on you to provide me with excitement, Shorty. Then I'll do my best to keep you entertained. I'm sure it won't be long before she starts searching for another challenger dare, but that's okay. I'll be with her. And for now, at least, we can rest easy. This really feels like it could be a series with her just getting into trouble constantly. Doke and I spend the rest of the day walking around town enjoying each other's company, with several kisses, jokes, and stories to break up the silence. It's a calm day, and it fills me with a sense of ease I'd been missing. It's getting late now. Yeah, we should probably go home. Yeah, I guess so. Neither of us moves. I hesitate. What should I do? Invite Nadoka for a private celebration or say goodnight? I feel like I should say goodnight. I mean, we're high schoolers. Like, this, this has implications. Goodnight, Nadoka. Goodnight. Don't forget about the party tomorrow. I wouldn't miss it for the world. And, um... What is it? I love you. I love you, too. It still feels a little strange to say that, but it's becoming comfortable and familiar. I kiss Nadoka gently and then step back. She looks back at me with a radiant smile, and as we reluctantly part ways, I feel like my heart is overflowing with happiness. I was worried we weren't going to get one of these images for her, like we picked the wrong thing. We were best friends for so long, and I never noticed how she felt about me. When I learned she put my name in the locker of death, I was stunned, and nearly killed. Now I wonder how could... how could have ever gone without her? I'm missing words a lot in this path. Our friendship isn't over, but it's evolved. We're a couple now, and the bond between us is stronger than ever. Although it took a curse to make me recognize my feelings, I'm glad I have this chance to move forward into a brighter future with Nadoka by my side. I wonder if the friendship ending will finally get to see this freaking party. So now we're gonna finish this out with the friendship route. I hope we'll all be friends forever. Huh? What? Is there a reason you're saying this now? Well, yeah, the four of us started working together to break the curse. Now that it's over, I don't want our friendship to end. I look at each of them in turn. Madoka, you and I have always been best friends. Mana, we've been good friends for years now. Rui, I'm so happy I met you and got to know you better. Let's all stay friends, okay? 
Doka glances at her. She looks so dismayed. Did he just... Yes, yes, he did. I see. So you view all three of us as good friends, hmm? Well, I think we're all happy to have a friend like you, Shorty. Thanks, we couldn't have done this without each other. The next day, we're finally ready to have our celebration for real this time. What we're we seeing the party? Okay, there's plenty of food for everyone. I hope Nadoka hasn't poisoned it. I brought music, but remember not to play it too loud. We don't want to disturb the neighbors. Hi, it's Daichi. Thanks for inviting me over, Shorty. I don't quite understand what you went through, but I get the basic idea. I'm glad to hear everything's normal again. I'm so surprised you survived this game. Yes, me too. I only wish Ritsuo could have been here, and Hina, who we barely remember. And Akane, who also we barely remember. I wish we could undo what we did. At least Hiroto and all the others should be able to find peace now. Yeah. Here's to a peaceful future free from curses. I mean, meanwhile, the ghosts all seemed pretty at peace, except for the two twins. Yeah. It's good to see everyone together like this, even though we're all still struggling a little with what happened. This should brighten people's spirits. And since the deaths have stopped, eventually school should go back to normal, too. Okay, so here's a story I heard the other day. They say that on the edge of town... Oh no, Nadoga, not this soon. You haven't even heard the story yet. I don't think I need to hear anything else. That's a shame. I was interested in hearing the rest. Thank you. Again, this feels like it could be a series. No, not you too. Uh, come on. We're here, we're here to celebrate, everyone, not to, to argue. Let's all just have a good time. And thanks for coming, all of you. These are my best friends in the whole world, especially Nadoka, Mana, and Rui. I'd never have been able to break the curse on my own, but with all of us working together, we were able to persevere. I hope we'll be friends for many years to come, maybe even for the rest of our lives. So, no special image for that one, but... Well, that is Locker of Death. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!